everybody back in Katy doing Southern style. I want to show y'all a texture that's called just a, it's a simple texture. It's called a roll on texture. So I got a half inch roller, you know, short pole, just pretty. Um, this is a really good half inch for it. You want one that's kind of slightly used. Uh, if you got a brand new one, it might take a little while to kind of get it broke in. Um, got some really loose mud here. As you can see, it's pretty much poured out of here. And I'll show you what this texture looks like from the get-go if you come in here. So this is what's called a roll-on texture. There's different versions of it. Some of them, um, some people put mud in the paint. You get a much lighter version of this. But this is done prior to the paint. And I'm going to show you all how. It's pretty simple, but a lot of people don't know how to do it. I'm just going to roll like a roll of paint. Get it broke in, so we'll get some mud in it now. I'll start the middle and get up. It's going to take a little while to get some mud on it, so we'll get all the mud and I'll show you the final stroke, which is really the biggest trick. But the looser your mud, the looser the texture is going to be, or the lighter, I'll say, the texture is going to be. You want to spread it out real good, just like you're painting. Always put your frame in the direction you're going. So the looser your mud, the easier it is to, to lay it out good because you want it to be even. If you can see some heavy spots there, I'm just going to move out, move it around. That's really the biggest trick is just getting your mud even. It'll go on thick and you really got to work it out and get it as even as possible. It's just regular mud, plus three, makes it real loose. I didn't screen it, but if you do see any trash, you can pick it out as you're going. We'll get this whole mud caked, and then there's a back end trick I'll show y'all. Just work your roller around and try and get your mud even thick right there, and just kind of move it down, spread it out. One more will get us. I right, see I got a piece of trash here. I'm just gonna get that guy out of there. So we're pretty even all the way around. So the trick is on your last half, I'm not going all the way down because it'll be tile up about 12 inches. So the trick is once you get everything even, I'm gonna, I have no pressure on it. I'm just gonna let it roll down, no pressure. Everything's down on the final stroke. And that gives you even, same direction on everything. I had no pressure on the roller. I'm just letting it literally roll down the wall. As you can see, everything's nice and even. Got to get your mud nice and even first. I say a little bobo there. Come all the way down, no pressure whatsoever. Last strokes, just down, let gravity move the roller. Now again, depending on the thickness of the texture would determine what roller you use. I'm using a half inch roller because it's really light. I've got the mud really, really loose. So if you got a heavier texture, you can do one or two things or both, and that's get a thicker roller or thicken up your mud. The thicker the mud is, the harder it is to get on there. We'll get a close up on here. As you can see, we're almost, we're identical to what we just showed you earlier. It's a really simple way to cover and it covers really well. Um, you can almost touch up your flow coat and not even really skim. Make sure you got all pit holes and stuff like that. And then do this, it covers really well. It kind of, it can be a skim coat if, you, if, if you're not really good at skim. So it's an easy way to cover rather than use a compressor or anything like that. So there it is, let's roll on texture. This will dry and then prime and paint and it'll look exactly like the rest does. If you do a Southern style, every day we do it. So. 
like, subscribe, questions, comments, put that in the comments. If you have anything else you'd like me to show you, let me know. Southern style, we out.